Well, what do you think about this for a magical setting? This is real Africa. Even in camp here on the top of this fig tree, we've got a young fish eagle. We are, in fact, on Rasinga Island in Kenya's part of Lake Victoria, the second largest freshwater lake in the world, which just happens to contain the world's second largest freshwater fish, the Nile perch. And I'm very lucky to be fishing with my old buddy Andy Davison and Anthony Dodds. Hi, guys. Hi, John. Hello, John. Whew, so you've got all the, the gear laid out. Anthony, as uh, fishing manager here at Rasinga, do you think we've got the right lures for these big Nile perch? John, I'd say your selection's got a hell of a lot of potential. It's really good. Um, ourselves at Rasinga, we use the Russell lure, which is a really mustard lure. It's got a lovely action, and uh, we're very successful with it. And is that sort of that type of action? Yeah, it? it has a very deep, exaggerated action. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, it's a slow troll, and uh, there's a lot of flash from it. Yeah. I think Andy and I must be on the right ball then, because we've got very similar lures, these big divers, It'll go down at that angle. Do you think they'll catch an eye perch? Perfect, John. Let's hope we'll so. Definitely. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> We've certainly got enough yeah. here, haven't we? OK, what about the rod, then? Andy and I have had these made up. They've got quite soft tips to them, but there's plenty of beef down here in case we get into one of these 100-pounders. Um, we've got a 40-pound test, and, as you suggested, a 100-pound trace in case it chafes on the perch's gill plates. Lovely, John. There's another interesting feature as well. It's the, the gimbal mount at the bottom there to stop it from turning around in the pole holder on the, on the, on the boat. That's super. They're designed with a lot of fuel, those rods. They're super. Well, let's hope they do well. Well, I don't know. It looks lovely out there, doesn't it? I can't wait to get fishing. Can we have a look at that map of yours to see where we're going to go? You've got about 20% uh, of the lake on that map, so your options are fairly large. We'll try and stick within sort of Kenyan boundaries. Mm -hmm. OK, here's Rasinga, where we are. Right. And then you've got your Kenya-Uganda boundary, mm -hmm. Uganda being from the west to the north. And then across the bottom here, you've got your Tanzanian boundary to the south. Mm. It's okay. an enormous great lake, isn't it? And this oh, is just one small part of it's it. It's monstrous. So, so Kenya has actually got the smallest part of the lake? We've got roughly about 10%. Mm -hmm. Pretty unfair, but we have, we have managed to find some big fish in that 10%. <laughs> Looks like you've got lots of good contours here and, and lots of islands. Are there many islands on the lake? Uh, John, there are a lot of islands. Uh, generally, the larger quantity is in, in uh, Uganda. Mm -hmm. Tanzania's got a lot. Tanzania's got the biggest that's in the lake. And how big is that? It's about 150 square miles. What, an island? Rwanda. One an, island. An island? Yeah. That big? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but how big is the lake? 26,800 square miles. Well, <laughs> that's ridiculous, that's, isn't That it? must be nearly 200 miles by 200 miles, is it? It's, a hundred, it's fairly symmetrical. It's 170 long by about 150 wide. I've fished Takana a lot, and I thought that was big in northern Kenya, but it's it's min small compared to that. So really, fishing here is, is really the proverbial drop in the ocean, isn't it? Well, I mean, we've got fast and powerful boats, and uh, just literally from from there to one of our furthest fishing spots, that's a good hour's drive. Wow. And, and are we going to be fishing far out or close into the, the shore? Very close into shore. Very close into shore. What well, do they stick close to the rocks, the, the big perch? They're, they? ca they're coming in after the smaller fish, which, mm. you know, it's part of the food chain. The little ones are in taking algae off yeah. the rocks and yeah. so on. Come um, on. We're wasting time. Let's get going. Let's go. <laughs> As you can see, we've left Rusinga Island and we've headed due north about 10, 12 miles to this lovely headland here where there's a beautiful group of islands. You can actually see the goats on shore here and, and the bird life is truly spectacular. What's the name of this island here, Anthony? John, it's called Sayusi. Yeah, there's lots of good rocks. You can see some of them coming out of the water here, can't you? There's, there's some lovely rocks around. So we're going to troll around this sort of way, are we? Mm -hmm. OK, great. We're going to be fishing three rods here on the outside rods Russell lures, and I'm going to start off with a Rapala on this one. Pretty 
pretty shallow here, Anthony, isn't it? Very. Who we got? Six Eight, feet. Ten feet? Six, six feet. feet. Just keep them short, John. This is where they love to get, though, in amongst these, uh, these rocks, huh? Keeping very shallow. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. it's in the rod tight bottom there as well. Fish this a bit short. It's quite shallow here, isn't it, Anthony? Yeah, it's dropping off now. Yeah, it's dropping off. Yep. Okay. You see, there's crabs in the lake around here. Hmm? You find crabs in the lake here? Eh? Plenty, Andy. So that's what they like yep. to get in these boulders and. A lot, of, a lot of the big fish that we bring in have got, have got crab in them. So they eat, in addition to the sticklers and, and, and their own kind, they also eat a lot of freshwater crabs. Whoa, that is going. Woo! He's going to jump soon. Yes, he's coming up. I can feel him coming up. Get that other rod in. Oh, hey, that's a good fast fight, that. You could have been mistaken into believing that was a barracuda. Come on, up, up you come. It's heading right to, towards my right there. Let's just get these hooks out of the way. Wee. Lovely. And the, whoa, whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Well done. Yeah, let's get these out. And I'll stand up this corner then. Yep. Great. Well done. Oh, it's a good fish too. Well done. Up he comes. Come on, let's have Gentry a bit of tire walking. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that is, that's magic. You didn't tell me they were tarpon, Anthony. <laughs> oh, that's a Beautiful. good fish. Whoa, that is a nice fish. That's a, that's now, a there's no dirty. way Excuse you me, can lean over there Sorry. with your hands and take those hook out. So I think we'll ask you to do the uh, honours with the gaff, Anthony, can Very we? Very good there, John. Oh, we must little, point out at this little time... little bit of action left in there. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't normally gaff fish like this, but with, with a lure like that, I mean, with You'd those hooks... You'd be crazy to try and do anything yeah. else but, but, but gaff that. If we just sort of steady it over the side with the gaff and get the hooks out, then perhaps we can uh, hand him a board, yeah? Oh, that's a very soft membrane there, isn't it? OK. Whoops, careful. Whoops. I'll just put the rod round here while we yeah, uh, let me take the away. lift him out. Can I hold him off the gaff there? Mm -hmm. oh, God, be... Yeah, OK. <laughs> and there it is, my first Nile perch. I had no idea it was going to come that quickly. The fish in here has got to be something else. And of course, I had to put a, a glove on my left hand to pick this up because they've got an enormous great mouth. No teeth as such, but thousands of little rasps that can take the skin off your fingers only too easily. And it's got its pelvic and pectoral fins very close together here, like all the perch family. Massive great big spike dorsal that I'm going to have to be very careful of if it jumps. Beautiful fish, coloured in pewters and greys and a gold belly. Beautiful big proud fins. I had no idea they were going to jump like that. What a magnificent fish. Probably about 30 pounds. And this is a small one, Anthony? Is that right? Average, John. You've got to, got you've got to be <laughs> kidding. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of cormorants around here. It's a beautiful place. I don't think I've been anywhere in the world where I've seen so many birds before. It's beautiful. Those local boats look lovely. What are they called? Um. John, the origins of those, there was a lot of presence here by the Arabs during the slave trade. Right. The boat is, is designed after an, an Arab dhow. Yeah, it looks okay, just got, like a dhow, doesn't it? It's got the latine rig, but it's, right. it's, it's, they've developed their own characteristics since then. And they call them tungis. Tungis? Mtungi, yeah. <laughs> Mtungi. <laughs> it's beautiful. You wouldn't want to try and say that after a couple of beers, <laughs> would you? Uh, no, just now, something again. I should concentrate on the rods instead. You can feel oh, a line bring that throbbing. Line in, Anthony. Oh, he's taking line now. Coming up to the top. 
coming hard up the top. Yes. Oh, look at that. Walker. That is a good fish, Andy. That is a good fish. Well done. Cutting round to the left again. It's going deep. Don't need to pump these. <laughs> <laughs> look at that line cutting through the water. It's almost like a... You got a lot of tension on? No, not at all. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Enough in case he takes a lunge again. Try and bring him round here. He's going to the left, towards the rocks. Let me just move your rod that here, John. That looks a good fish, doesn't it? No, we're going to have to... I'm turning uh, it, Anthony. I think... We're going to have to bring him round this side. Yeah. It's coming round. Mind the props here now. All right. Yeah, here he is. He's on top. Oh, yes. yes. Come on, man. It's a nice fish. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's bring him round to the right. Here he comes. Probably going to come out of the water again. Where's Anthony? Whoa, yes! Woohoo! <laughs> OK, Andy? Yeah, I'll bring it to let's you. Let's have it. Well, that's only just hooked two, isn't it? Like? Let me come behind you, Anthony. Perfect. It's quite well set in the scissors there, uh, John. It's a very dark yeah. fish, isn't it? I'm going to get a photograph of you. Right, Andy, let's just take a quick snap. Hold it up a fraction more. Whoa, that's beautiful. Yeah. That is magic. Absolute magic. You're going to smile, you miserable devil? Oh, that's quite possible. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Terrific. Oh, look at that spiked dorsal fin. I mean, if that stuck here, that would be nasty, wouldn't it? Mm. Beautiful, huge fins on it. And look at those rasps in the mouth there. I haven't got teeth as such, but, cool, dear, that could really give you... Get hold of you, never let go, huh? Yeah. Oh. Very big tongue, too, wow. Yeah. See those huge great tongue? Nod nod nodule things inside the mouth, the lumpy oh, bits. There, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they use them as gripping pads yeah. as well. Look at that eye, opaque, sort of... Glass and nocturnal eye, isn't it? Not unlike the Xander's eye, really, is it? No, sort of an amberish colour, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful fish, Andy. Beautiful yeah. fish. Darker yeah, than yours, generally, yeah? It really is up and down this bottom, isn't it? Most of the fish we've caught, though, seem to be in that sort of 10 to 20 foot band. How deep does the lake actually go in places? John, it's um, relative to its size, it's a very shallow lake. Out in the middle, in the Ugandan waters, the deepest point is 260. 260? Mm. That's a fair old depth, though, but as you say, not when you think about the size of the yeah. lake. It is very shallow when you think you think of the surface area. That's right. that's huge. Yeah, yeah. And apart from your camp record of 203, what's the biggest Nile perch that you've ever heard of? I, I, I spoke to a guy this morning that said he uh, heard of them to over 600 pounds. Have you have you seen or heard of anything that sort of size? I've seen officially in black and white the Guinness Book of Records have got a fish of 416, which was caught in a net in Uganda. Wow. But, That's you know, a big are, fish, isn't it? There are a multitude of stories about 600 pounds <laughs> in this time. John, yeah. we've got some competition out there. Where's that? There's a heron fishing on those rocks. Oh, look at that. It's lovely trolling so close to the shoreline here, isn't it? There he is. There's fishermen all around us. John, this one's headed off for Uganda, I think. <laughs> Whoops. It's got high, it's got it's got over a quarter of the spool out now. Well, that was a hell of a one. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to leave that, let that go. Can't do anything with that at all. Just bumped my thumb. <laughs> I think actually that's round and very coming into the, the rocks. Very close to the surface, you guys. Is it? It is. It's coming yeah. round towards those rocks. What was that on the green? Yeah. Very close to the surface. It is the angle of lines yeah. going. You can Anthony, see it's going you up and up this, and up. All this line out here now. That's a good fish, Andy. It's kiting to the left. Is it going to be dangerous? Well, it's gonna... so close to the surface. I'm not. Okay, it's coming toward. It's coming down. Down the coast now. Is it a big one? Feels big, yeah. <laughs> it, unless it's hooked in the tail, and I doubt that. It was a remarkably good strike. Oh, oh, the, the line has just plinked off something. 
Yeah. Well, it's, got, it's very close body. to the shore. It's very close to the shore. It might be wrapped around its body. It felt like it's kited along the back. I would say it's a little bit too fast to fish for a very big one. It was really going. But he will, he will really be in going. he'll be in the. Um, that was really going. Is it coming towards you quickly now? No, it's just coming very slowly. It's not even shaking its head anymore. Okay, it's that's staying. nice. This is a good fish. Isn't that line blinking? <laughs> I don't want to put any more slack on. <laughs> Well, this is what it's all about. Of course it is, of course yeah. it is. Isn't it funny how the lethargy and the waiting, and everyone gets a little despondent thinking yeah, I must be doing something wrong, and then bang, out right. of the blue. That came right out of the blue. We must yeah. have been going, what, for an hour then, Anthony, mm -hmm. without a, a plea? We almost had a mutiny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> apart from uh, hooking that long line. It's coming now, it's oh, coming now. Line in. Oh, here it comes. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> That's a biggie. <laughs> well done. Just don't lose it. Don't lose it. Try and keep quiet here, as it don't spook it. That was terrific. What a lunge, wasn't it? You're quickly now. No, it's just coming very. There, look at that. Whoa! Shh. I want to get underneath this awning now and have the rod. Oh, there's a the swivel. Right, coming right, it's coming up now. There we like are. a submarine. Lovely colours, the greens and violets on its back as it's coming in there. Beautiful OK, colours. trace in hand. I've got the clutch set lightly in case it right. lunges. Yeah, keep it very light, because she doesn't seem to be it's entirely still. ready. Over you go. On your side. There we go. Just in the bottom lip, Andy. Well done. Well done, well done. Anthony. Some of the flies first or what? Oh, we got there, 76. Do you know that looks bigger than looks that? Looks bigger than that. What on earth does a 150 pound look like? Oh, I mean, that's check. an enormous fish. Look at the size of that. You could almost get your head down it. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. It's a huge fish, Andy. Well, we've decided to take a short break from the fishing for a while because there's a sight that I've never seen before. Over there on shore, there's a pair of fish eagles up in the tree and Anthony's going to try and coax them down by feeding them and I'm really looking forward to this. OK, John. Yeah, great. There goes the fish. Here they come. That's they're incredible. Off. It's like they're <laughs> programmed, isn't it? Look at that. A beautiful sight. They're so fast and yet they're so smooth, aren't they? Isn't it graceful? Wow, look at the speed at which they took that. That's absolutely incredible. Some beautiful scenery here and a pretty little village there up on the hill. I don't know whether they're Frisian cows or not. What would they be, Anthony? Would they be a, a, a subspecies of a Frisian? Um, slightly updated model of a zebu, I would say. <laughs> well, that's good ground here. That's coming up very steep, isn't it? Anthony. Hey? It's a beautiful spot. Hello, on the way. It looks like he's getting close to the surface, sir. Yeah, it's a good fish. You're in the right position there, Andy. Yeah, I'm going to try and take well, a photograph of you, I think, if you don't mind. It's a big fish, that's why I had, it had to go around the boat there. It really is a big one. Whoa. Whoa, what a fight. Oh, this is knockout. Absolutely knockout. Oh. Very likely yes. hooked. Oh, he's just outside the mouth. Should be able to get him. OK, all right, we'll unhook him in the water. No, we won't. We'll bring him in and photograph him. OK. Yeah. Oh, 
Yes. Who? Hold on. <laughs> Let's get him hold of him. When you've got that, I'll get him off the gas. OK? OK. Nice fish. Oh, lovely one. What do you reckon that is? About fifty. Good fifty. Oh, good fifty. How about that then? That's what Nile perch fishing is really all about. Oh, that is tremendous. Shall we put him back straight away? I think straight in. Straight in. Oh, here you go, my son. Oh, Whew, look at that straight down. Whew. Yeah. Very well done. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Source of the River Nile. And whilst we haven't managed to boast any of those elusive 100 pound plus perch, actually losing counts of the amount of fish between 30 and 75 pounds has got to be enough for anybody in just a couple of days fishing. Rusinga Camp is rather unique in that you don't actually stay here. You fly in for a day's fishing option whilst on safari at the famous Masai Mara Game Reserve. Arrangements can be made through any travel agent, but see your doctor for current inoculation requirements. And good fishing.